This is the Clockwork Pi Pico Calc. It's a fantastic DIY kit for tinkerers with a pretty cool keyboard and a sharp screen that has a wonderful retro vibe. Well, what's the problem? The default software is stuck in the past. Out of the box, it's almost like a love letter to the golden age of computing, letting you code in basic or use a simple Unix clone. But that feels like putting a speed limiter on a race car. I knew the hardware built around the super capable Raspberry Pi Pico could do so much more. All that potential was just locked away. That's why I started a project to build a custom open source firmware called PicoWare. With one single file, we take it from a simple calculator to a pocket-sized computer with full Wi-Fi, a real graphical user interface, and a library of apps you can code yourself in Python. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how I did it and how you can do it too. So let's quickly break down what this thing really is. Well, the PicoCalc is a modular open source hardware kit. It comes with a main board, a Raspberry Pi Pico H module, a 320x320 320 screen, a keyboard, speakers, and a case. You put it together yourself, which is half the fun. And for power, you need to supply a pair of 18650 batteries, as they aren't included probably due to shipping rules. The whole point of this device is customization. The hardware is meant to be expanded with ports for Spy, I2C, and UART peripherals just waiting for your next project. It's pretty much a maker's dream. But here's the catch, the real limitation. The default firmware is retro, but it's also retro. It uses MM Basic, but for a lot of us who like to tinker, that feels like putting a speed limiter on a race car. You've got this really cool, capable hardware, but the software just doesn't let you open it up. You can't just connect to the internet, build a modern graphical app, or quickly write a Python script to grab data from a web API. It's a device with so much untapped potential. And as a tinkerer, nothing gets me more excited than that. I knew this little machine could do so much more, which is why I started the PicoWare project. My goal was to tear down the walls of the original software and transform the PicoCalc from a one-trick pony into a multi-tool that could run modern code and talk to the outside world. It pretty much needed a complete personality change. This is where PicoWare comes in. Let's hop into it. Really, my first step was a tiny but crucial hardware upgrade. Now, your PicoCalc comes with a Raspberry Pi Pico H, but I swapped it for a Pico 2W. It's a simple drop-in replacement that adds a wireless chip, giving us Wi-Fi and Bluetooth hardware. That's the key that unlocks everything. Now, with the hardware sorted, it was time for the software magic. Now, you might think that flashing firmware sounds complicated or risky, but actually the Pico makes it unbelievably simple. You just hold down the tiny boot select button on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself while plugging in a micro USB cable. When you do that, the Pico just shows up on your computer like a regular USB drive named RPI-RP2 if you have a Pico or Pico W or RP2350 if you have a Pico 2 or Pico 2 W. So now it's waiting for us to give it a new brain. This is where my project PicoWare comes in. The whole thing is just a single tiny UF2 file you grab from GitHub. You just drag and drop that one file onto the Pico drive, then it copies, automatically ejects, and reboots once it's finished. And that's it. The old prompt is gone and you're greeted with the new PicoWare screen. Your calculator just got a massive upgrade. Now, developing PicoWare was its own adventure. A huge chunk of time went into building libraries and the GUI, you know, the status bar, the icons, the app launcher, and more, all from the ground up. 
most importantly, I wanted PicoWare to be easy for other people to build on. That's why I designed it to support different ways to code, like the Arduino IDE for C++ folks, and of course, MicroPython. That means a huge community of developers can jump right in without having to learn some obscure niche language. But today we're focusing on the MicroPython version because it lets you do some really rapid fun development right on the device itself. So what does this brain transplant actually get you? Well, let's take a quick tour. The first thing you'll see is a clean, modern interface. Up top, you've got status icons for your device, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Hitting enter opens the main app library. This is the new command center for your PicoCalc. But let's jump into the biggest new feature, which is connectivity. Thanks to the PicoW and PicoWare, your calculator is now online. If we pop into Wi-Fi, you can actually scan for Wi-Fi or connect to your router. And once you're online, things get really interesting. For example, I built apps that can pull the local weather from an API or get GPS data, social media, weather, and more. Just think about this for a second. Your handheld calculator is now a pocket-sized IoT device. But it's worth noting that while the Wi-Fi is solid, Bluetooth support on the Pico W is still maturing in the MicroPython world, so full functionality there is a bit of a work in progress. But here is where things go from a cool gadget to a seriously useful tool. One of my favorite PicoWare features is that you can program it in Python without being stuck on your computer. Right here in the firmware, I've included a simple code editor. You can launch it from the main library, create a new file, and start coding on PicoWare directly on the PicoCalc. It's basic, but perfect for quick scripts on the fly. For anything more complex, I definitely recommend using the Thani IDE on your computer. Thani is a fantastic beginner-friendly Python editor that's pretty much the standard for MicroPython. When you plug your PicoWare Flash device in, Thani sees it right away and gives you a live Python prompt or a REPL running directly on the Pico. It's an amazing setup for testing ideas and debugging your apps super fast. And making your own apps is pretty easy too. Any Python script you save to the PicoWare slash apps folder on the SD card just shows up in the app launcher. For example, the Hello Color app where the text changes color when you press a button. So you could write a few lines of Python in Thani, save the file to the SD card, pop it back in the PicoCalc, and boom, your app will be right there in the list ready to go. You can build your own tools, little games, or whatever you can dream up. The idea of making things simple is really at the heart of PicoWare. It's all about taking the powerful, but sometimes tricky features of the Raspberry Pi Pico and making them easy to use as possible. It lets someone who knows a little bit of Python build a web connected app on a handheld device in just a few minutes without needing to be a network programming guru. This opens the door for so many more useful connected apps. So in just a few minutes, we've gone from a simple offline calculator to a Wi-Fi connected app running multilingual pocket computer. We took a device that was meant to do one thing and turned it into a platform where the only real limit is your imagination. This project is a perfect example of what the maker community is all about. Refusing to believe a device is only what the box says it is. It's really all about seeing the hidden possibilities in the tech we own and being curious enough to set them free. 
And the best part, you aren't alone. I started PicoWare as a completely open source project and all the code is up on GitHub right now. You'll find guides on how to get started and there's a growing community of users on Discord and the Clockwork Pi forums sharing their own creations and helping make the firmware better. So PicoWare is a living project, always changing with new features and apps, all driven by people who just love to build and tinker. Now, if you have a Pico Calc or are just curious about what the Raspberry Pi Pico can do, I really hope you'll check out the GitHub repository or say hi on the Clockwork Pi forums. The link is in the description. Download the firmware, flash your device, and start making something cool. Let me know in the comments what you would build. I'm always looking for new ideas for the project. If you enjoyed this look into my project, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more PicoCalc content and tutorials. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.